right, so it's been uh, almost one hour and a half now to machine this uh, sprocket for the belt. Hey guys, so here is a little update about the belt solution that we have been working for on the LMX64. So the goal is uh, to reduce the noise. So the belt solution is uh, really interesting because belts are known to be a lot more silent. But the main problem with the belt is uh, the torque handling. See? see how much torque you can pass at low RPM. Uh, so we have to select uh, the biggest module that would fit. So the belt module is uh, 8 mm, which is around the same as the pitch for the the chain that we have been using. So we have similar numbers in the number of teeth. Uh, it's a 14 teeth on the front and uh, 116 in the rear, which is equivalent to what we have stock on the bike which is uh, 12 to 100 teeth. So we have been designing our own sprockets for this. Uh, so the front sprocket and the back sprocket. So we decided to make the front sprocket in 7075 aluminum, uh, which is very strong and um, still easy to machine with the tools that we have here. And for the back uh, sprocket, we made it in uh, plastic to save some weight uh, and make uh, manufacturing more easy. So the first main uh, goal for this project was to make it fully compatible with uh, any LMX64 or LMX81 even that we sold. Um, so the main issue is that with a belt you cannot open the belt to make it go uh, inside the swing arm. So we had to find a way that both strands of the belt were going inside the swing arm and what we found is uh, by positioning the tensioner at the right position, we would achieve that. So we started making some tests uh, two weeks ago, I guess, uh, but it was not very promising because uh, as we tested uh, with maximum torque at zero RPM, that means that we lock the back brake and we apply full throttle in mode three with the nuclear. Uh, our bikes are set to 166 phase amps and uh, this is a lot of torque and uh, with uh, these settings um, we had some stripping of the belt so this is why mm, the first results were not so promising uh, but we, we made some more checks and the belt tension was way too low uh, for this first test so we, we tried to increase the belt tension by modifying the tensioner because at first we use the same uh, spring as with the chain setup but with the belt you need a lot more strength. So as of today we just made the first test uh, out in the woods with the bike so let me show you some uh, footage of that so you can uh, have a listen I guess to noise. So here's a quick uh, off-road test of this belt solution in the mud. So right now there is uh, some little uh, uh, spring noise. That is a little strange. I have to check what's up with that. But other than that, it's pretty damn good. This is in mode uh, mode two out of three. Ah. Let's try mode three. Nice, no problem. Even starting 
back in this uh, very steep climbing. So let's go climbing, this time in mode 3, keep a little more speed. So we designed these systems uh, based on the customer input that, okay, this bike is nice, but uh, when you are riding on the streets, it's a little bit too, too noisy uh, for riding around over people and stuff. So how can we make it silent, but still uh, fully reliable for off-road? Is it even possible? Well, this is what we are trying to to see. So this is going up a small hill with the motor on. All right. Nice noise compared to the chain. It's much lower pitch. This is normally a very nice way up like I can take, but I should come back with a chainsaw because this is not rideable. All right. Let's go back up there with no initial speed and no grip. Let's try it. Nice. With the belt, uh, the drivetrain seems a little smoother, which is also a nice thing. So we are losing the light fast, but this is only the first of many tests before we can bring this thing to the market. Uh, but the thing is, uh, we need uh, some testing to know what will happen with that. Uh, will it last uh, maybe 500 kilometers, maybe 5,000 kilometers? We don't know. It depends on the belt quality. It depends on the belt tension. It depends on. Uh, what kind of terrain you're riding. So this is why we would also be interested to have some beta testers, uh, some LMX customer that want to try this system and uh, that I've been um, asking about some solution to reduce the noise. Uh, we will of course have some interesting prices for that. Uh, we will not try to make money out of these kits. It's mostly to test and to have some long-term uh, feedback uh, by different kind of uh, users and see if we can offer this kit uh, either as an option or either as a standard for the bike. It will really depends on what kind of results we will have.